Well, another 10 yards, we'd have got him, but that's the breaks of the game. Even those big animals are hard to see in this country. Whenever someone asks me what is my favorite bow hunting adventure, my 2013 Greenland hunt immediately comes to mind. This week, bow hunter publisher Jeff Waring takes his turn at this fantastic experience. In 2012, outfitter Frank Feldman of Bow Hunting Greenland Outfitters played a huge part in getting bow hunting legalized in this mostly ice covered country. And now he has the musk oxen caribou hunting figured out. One of the biggest advantages here is that um, we're actually able to, to, to spot them from the boat. So we can cover a lot of ground from the boats and see, look at a lot of muskox. Yeah, this one is good too. Yeah. We can choose, if we, depending on, on uh, the, uh, how fit uh, you are, whether a longer or a shorter hike and uh, it depends on the client who really. It's early the next morning and Don is still up and it isn't long before he's on the stock again. Oh, there's two big, big animals over there. You can see two very old, big body. So it could be two cows, but the chances that we have a good bull there is, is good. It's a good location. Horn chances. One of them is already looking at us. Way over there. Yeah. In Greenland, some stocks are short with bulls hanging out near the ocean. Others are long as bulls move inland. In my mind, both scenarios are preferable to the frozen tundra hunts where you're riding in a sled behind a snowmobile in temperatures of 40 degrees below zero. Here, Frank and Don are using the lower elevation of the creek bottom to close the distance on one particular bull muskox. Silent when we step, very careful. We can, we can probably, we can probably walk very slowly, very careful. Very quiet. We can walk down because nothing is looking at us. Yeah, I see him. He sees us now. Wait, I range him. Is that? Is that twenty? Facing. Don't draw yet. Just step a little bit forward to the higher spot. Just go high. I can stay right behind you. That's 20. Still, we wait a little bit longer. Everything is intact. It's a very good ball. We have to be a little bit lucky. Down. You see? Yeah. Perfect shot. 
That was pretty good. You <laughs> one arrow. One arrow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is nice. <laughs> How far did you go? 30? 20, 30. Yeah, yeah. 15, 20 seconds. And boom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. One arrow, probably number one trophy so far. You see? Oh, uh, yeah. He's a dandy. Yeah. Perfect shot, huh? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just had this one there between the wheels and you had to go exactly there in the bottom to get it right. And just... <laughs> <laughs> so you had a clear shot, but it was yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We didn't take the one yesterday. This one is better. Oh, yeah. 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 There we go. Good. Good Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> It happened really fast. We didn't expect it. We were trying to move on some other caribou. But... It's a little bit risky now. From Greenland, it's a four and a half hour boat ride to camp. It's a true, true bow hunt. It's not, it's not easy. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> Are you ready to bed down? I think he's ready to bed there, but... We knew that there were some bulls further down the, the, the valley here. We were easing up high because of the wind, because of the, wind, the, the way the wind is blowing in here. And we walked up on one, one sleeping. It happened really fast. We didn't expect it. We were trying to move on some other caribou, but we're not done because it is so much work to get up here. Frank's gonna go ahead and try to, we're gonna try to move on this other one too. We don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna take a chance and just move in fast on them. I'm not sure if we have time for it. It's gonna take time. I think it's a lot of, a lot of, maybe 15 cows and calves. A few bulls, maybe a very good one, I haven't even checked. But um, the wind is bad, and if I, we had more time before sunset, and packing out Jeff's ball and all that, we could do it. Uh, give me half an hour. <laughs> before taking care of Jeff's bull, Frank decides to make a play on a bull for himself. Frank is an animal and a very good bow hunter in his own right. As he stalks in closer, the bulls are chasing and distracted. But as is often the case in such scenarios, the attempt is foiled by a non-target animal. And I managed to get to, I think, 70. And then suddenly, a cow and a calf smelled me, I think. Oh. And then the whole herd took off. That was a, that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. That, that yeah, yeah, rut yeah. action, those bulls chasing each yeah, other around. Yeah, yeah, it was risky. I wish, yeah, but you, you got to try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun. We had fun. got one down here. You got to yeah, try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy not to pack two out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at that! Wow. Oh my gosh. Easy. 
That happened fast, huh? Oh, it did happen fast. What do you think? <laughs> oh. oh, my. Long beams, huh? Long yeah, long beams. beams. Yeah. A little broken up. He's F fighting the other ones, probably. Yeah. Oh, is it pretty, though? It just all came together, and this place is special. I mean, it is awesome. You got it. Mm. Neat place here. I feel very fortunate to be here. It's, uh, it's, it's, yeah. I love this place. It's, uh, I mean, there's no way to really do it justice. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Thank I you. Can't, well, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I just can't believe how things, you know. Since sometimes things are just meant to happen a certain way. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> A unique and beautiful foreign land, glaciers, icebergs, tundra, muskox, caribou, and good friends. What more could anyone ask for in a bow hunting adventure? Well, you could ask for an outfitter who knows the land, understands the animals, and enjoys your success as much as you do. That's Frank Feldman. If this is an adventure you might like to experience, you can find Frank's contact information at bowhunter.com. It'll be tough to compete with this adventure, but we'll give it a try next week, right here on Bowhunter TV. See you then.